Good morning, and welcome to New England Wildflower Society. I'm Dan Jaffe, the propagator and stockbed grower, and today we're talking Gylosacea. So there are a number of different Gylosacea which can be grown in New England, two of which I'd really like to focus on today. One of them is this one right here. This is Gylosacea brachycera, the box huckleberry. And though it's not actually native in New England, it is native a little bit south of us and grows just fine around here. What I really like about the box huckleberry is it's got four full seasons of interest. In the springtime, there's a white flower with a bit of a pink tip to it. Later in the summer, in fact right now, it produces a blueberry that's so dark it's almost black. Quite similar to a blueberry, very tasty. In the late fall, you get bright red colors, sometimes more of a burgundy red depending on how much sun you're getting, and it's an evergreen species, so you have winter interest as well. We're on the Ridge Trail right now, and I'd like to introduce you to the second of the two species that we're talking about today. This guy here is Gallocetia baccata, or the black huckleberry. And there's a pretty good chance that many of you have already seen this plant plenty of times in the past, although you may not have known that you've been looking at it. The issue is that black huckleberry and low bush blueberry tend to look very, very similar and grow in very similar situations. In fact, this guy right here is low bush blueberry, this guy right here is black huckleberry. A definitive way to tell huckleberry from blueberry is that huckleberries tend to have these resin dots that you can find along the leaves and the stems of the plant. The, the blueberry will lack those. You can sometimes see them with the naked eye, but a hand lens will take care of it. What I find is easiest, though, is that black huckleberry tends to have dark brown stems, whereas lowbush blueberry will have green stems, or sometimes red if they're in the sun. While the huckleberry's brand new stems will be green, they quickly start turning black, whereas with the blueberry, only the oldest base of the stems will be at all brown. Though it's not an evergreen species, the black huckleberry still provides us with three seasons of interest. In the spring, you get that white flower similar to the box huckleberry with the pink tip to it. Later in the summer, you also get that black berry, which some people will argue tastes better than the box huckleberry, although to be honest, I can't taste the difference. And in the fall, you still get a fabulous red color. Come take a walk in the garden. See the huckleberries.